Hey, how's everybody doing? This is game three of the first round of the NBA playoffs. Let's take a look at what's going on in the rest of the league here. Nothing too substantial. Let's try to be the first team to go up 3-0 in the playoffs. Let's get this series over with quickly so my virtual teammates can rest, so I can rest, so we can put this whole series behind us. We don't want to, you know, go back to Chicago, then back to Toronto. Granted, Toronto's a nice, a nice city. Starting the game with turnovers for some reason, don't know why. I could have swore uh, Wendell Carter would have crashed to the rim, but no, he stood at the free throw line like it's 1995. I don't want to throw him another lob because he might not go, 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 go get it. Sound like Inspector Gadget right now. But see, this is what the, the Raptors don't do. They try, for some reason, they're programmed not to go to DeMarcus Cousins and have him go one-on-one -on -one down low. And the shots selection that he chooses is terrible. But we're playing defense. We're getting out in transition. We're attacking the basket. Their big men aren't back yet. They're too slow. So I'm trying to take advantage of that. More defense from the rim, protect, rim protecting duo of uh, Mitchell Robinson and uh, Wendell Carter. Let's see if I can't go a little bit around. Ooh, I lost him. Trying to help my, help out my teammate uh, teammates on offense a little bit. The Toronto Raptors are coming out pretty strong they're hitting a lot of their shots but we're hitting a lot of our shots as well they came out saying they're gonna have to deal with us well you're gonna have to deal with us goes both ways I don't know if that sentence made any sense look at my rim protecting duo should have been a bounce pass I know I know I know that would have been way better you're setting the screen in the wrong place, but okay. I'll try to use it anyway. See if I can't go one-on-one -on -one with the... He should be a power forward, a slow power forward. He's just a shooter. More and more defense. If we keep playing like this, I believe... See, I get stuck right here. I don't like this. Get stuck here again. Now I'm free. I just wanted to make it dramatic. For the nobody watching these videos. Zach Levine glitches by his man on the baseline. Woo! That was a good pull up. 24% covered. It looked more. It looked a lot more. 24% covered by getting in the passing lanes. Finishing at the rim. Too high for Lowry to contest. Lowry, four years into the future, he's a 75. Oh, my goodness. Lowry didn't see the huge 6'11 power forward set slash center standing right in front of him. More defense. This is ridiculous. They can't shoot. Try to finish with the right hand, but it doesn't. Gets me in an animation, contact animation. You should be able to um, do a reverse layup from different angles instead of only the baseline. You have to run parallel with the baseline to get a reverse layup animation. And you should be able to go up like a normal left-handed layup, how real NBA players do, and then just switch to your right hand, use the rim as protection like all the small guards do in the NBA, but they don't have that animation for some reason. If you're coming at the basket from, say, the elbow in a straight line basket, you fake with the right hand like you're going up with the right, and then you switch to your left. And a little, little up and under action, but it doesn't – not in this game. We start to pull away. We had a little bit of a lead, about, about a 10-point lead. And then you get into the – you get subbed out, and the game simulates – and I believe we took that 10-point lead to 17, 18, 20-point lead. Oh, he got me on that one. He, okay, you got me on that one. Good job. Sharp, Mr. Sharp. 
since I have a big lead, I'm trying just to get other teammates involved like it's real life for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see if I can't use that guy as a screen. There's a switch down low. Markinen has a smaller defender on him from the previous Zach Levine. Now, see, Zach Levine should have passed down low. If they get a switch like that, the computer, I think, should automatically got him. Uh, recognize that. They recognize it sometimes, but it depends, obviously, on the, the big man. If the big man is a like well-known post-up player, which no big men are these days. But any like seven foot, ooh, his back is turned. Siakam's back is turned. Any big man, a seven foot big man who has a little guy on him, it should switch. Don't don't shoot a three. Step in, step in and make it a two for no reason. But that's it. We take a three zero series lead. And really have a stranglehold on this series. Hey, it's Shaq. You guys stomped that team, and I mean literally. It wasn't even close. When did you realize this game was yours to lose? When was it our time to lose? Uh, that's kind of difficult to answer. I'd say about halfway through the fourth when we had the big lead, when there really wasn't any more time left. It's, I mean, it's not like we looked at the calendar and said this is an automatic win, you know? When you look at the calendar, I don't. <laughs>